Today we're going to spend some time with a 2007 BMW Z4 3.0 SI. Under the hood of this Z4, uh, you're going to find BMW's familiar 3.0 engine. Three liter inline, but this is the SI model. The SI model gives you variable valve timing and a couple other uh, adjustments that give it a boatload of low end torque. Granted, it's only 25 more horsepower on paper. Actually, I take it back 35. 30. Because 255 minus 225 is 30. So it's a 30 horsepower difference. But this is routed to the optional Steptronic Automatic, which has paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel, uh, which is as all Z4s are and M versions of this, they're all routed to the rear wheels. The reason I like this car so much is that the extra torque in here made it to the automatic really does make this the fastest feeling Z4 on the road. Now granted, if you're on the racetrack, the M is probably going to get some more speed out of this, but as far as low end torque and drivability are concerned, this does feel like the fastest Z4 you can buy. But let's take a walk around it because the car is virtually immaculate. This car is nearly brand new. I'm going to point out the two uh, spots right off the bat and then I'll introduce you to the rest of the car because there really are only two contact spots. Uh, one, you're probably not going to be able to see with the camera, uh, just a little chip under there, which is perfectly normal with these cars. And then on the driver's side, you've got one in almost the exact same spot, but uh, nothing huge. I mean, from five feet away, you wouldn't even notice it unless you're really, really looking for it. But no stone chips. Everything up front looks great. Uh, it's all factory original condition, no modifications at all. But probably my favorite hallmark of this car, and I did want to mention, you do have Xenons up front, but... The hallmark of this car really is these five-spoke wheels. Uh, you do have a 225. 40R18 up front here, and these are uh, Bridgestone Potenza run flat tires. Uh, not cheap, but great tires, and I would say you're probably at better than 80% on these, uh, as they do feel relatively new. Well, look down the side, 3.0 SI badging indicating the SI model, and on the rear you've got that same beautiful five-spoke tire, the five-spoke wheel, and on the rear you're going to find a 255 35R18, again, newly new Bridgestone Potenza run flats. Well, come around to the rear. I don't have anything to call out in the back. All stock, all factory new condition. No blemishes, no dents, no dings. And then, I don't know, what would you expect on the passenger side? Well, I would probably expect it to be just like the driver's side. It's stunning. I use the keyless here to open the trunk. But you really do have a decent sized trunk. When you consider that this roof is stowed, some convertibles have a contingency where when the roof is stowed, you're not going to get as much cargo room, but it's all the way down and you still have your full trunk here, which is decent size, especially knowing it's a two uh, passenger vehicle. You've got the Z4 floor mats here from the factory. Those are in excellent condition. Everything is squeaky clean back here. And then below the floorboard here that I'd love to share with you, there's a battery. Inside the car is excellent. Uh, the only real wear to note, which is unfortunately not uncommon in these is the uh, bolster wear here, but that's not ridiculous. You know, if that's the only thing I gotta show you on the interior, uh, as long as you're getting in on the driver's side, nobody else will ever see it, but easy car to get in. I'm six feet tall. You've got a tilt and telescope steering wheel here, uh, an automatic setting for the Xenons right up here on the dash, and then the multi-function steering wheel with the uh, paddle shifters right on top here, but very neat style. This actually reminds me a lot of the Z8, which is a classic BMW, but also look at the red contrast of the interior. Um, better highlighted on the doors. It's stunning. The Z4 comes with a premium sound system as standard. You got the in-dash CD right here, but it is probably one of the best convertible stereos I know of. It's Carver amplifiers. Uh, any of the audio files out there will know that Carver really does have some of the absolute best equipment you can buy. Uh, below that, you've got the automatic climate control. Literally, dial up your temperature, give a little fan speed, and it's going to take care of it from there. Uh, below that, this little row of buttons here, you're going to find heated seats for both the front occupants as well as dynamic traction control, which is also your traction and stability, and a tire pressure monitor. And with the optional Steptronic Automatic, you're going to find the normal shifter here. Just a traditional automatic until you drop it and drive, pop it to the left. That puts you in your sport mode. Now, that's a sport transmission mode that will allow the engine to rev a little bit higher. Uh, pull back to upshift, push forward to downshift. But the other part of this car, because it does have the sport package, because this car does have the sport package, you've actually got this button right here. This will amplify the throttle response and essentially change the manners of the transmission even more so that this car does hang gears and corners. It's got yaw and all the other controls. I'm not even gonna use words like yaw anymore. What's up, yaw? So 
that's essentially it. And then these awesome sport buckets uh, are really comfortable. These are very similar to the seats you'll find in the M Roadster. The vertible top is nice and easy to use on this car. Pull this, twist the handle. That's it. It's quicker than the power top even works. The experience behind the wheel of Z430 OSI is that of any other 3 liter uh, BMW. Uh, it's not as amplified as the M. The M always feels as if it's like ready to jump on anything. It always feels like it's really raring to go. Plus you have to wind that engine up to make power. This one doesn't. You barely lean in. It doesn't have to downshift and literally the speed goes up as Dave doesn't put his seatbelt on. But even with the roof off, I mean, think of how serene this is here, too. And we're going to go over a couple speed bumps here. Look at that. There's nothing. Look at that. Hit the brakes nice and hard. Alignment's dead on. Boom. Solid. And the power and balance to get you right out. Anybody could drive this car fast. I do mean anyone. At least anyone with a driver's license. From a dead stop, this will indicate the torque that you get in this car uh, that you don't get in the M. And this is really what I mean when a brown town and you're normal driving, I'm out on a racetrack, I'm literally accelerating from a stop here, but uh, I'm going to put it all in. I'm in sport mode, sport mode. I got the traction actually off just in case we incur a little bit of wheel spin. But uh, I'm not even going to brake torque it. Here we go. That's healthy. I guess what blows my mind is this car has 16,000 miles on it, and obviously it was very easy, easy 16,000 uh, miles, but I mean, look at the condition of this car. Aside from those two little nicks in the front, I mean, you really can't fault it from a new car. If you reset the odometer, you still couldn't fault it from a new car because the driving experience is brand new. Fresh tires and everything, and this overall condition really makes this car just one of my absolute favorites for the cruisers. Uh, in my hands here, I do have a copy of the Auto Check and Carfax Vehicle History Report. Squeak clean on both, just some... Uh, Mileage events and that's it, because that's all we're looking for actually. But really a sharp car. Uh, I also have the vehicle history report from BMW. Uh, it does show that the car was put in service in September of 07, which is a late one. So you've got four year 50,000 miles of warranty from BMW uh, that runs through September 8th, 2011. And what's, what else is amazing is that in that four year 50,000 miles, you also have the scheduled maintenance uh, that follows the car. That does go along with it, so that's a nice thing to throw in there. But uh, very well equipped car. I also have the original window sticker, which shows me 07 Z430 SI Roadster, and the original MSRP on this car was 47825 Uh That's no slouch. That's a lot of money for a great car, but hey, you can get it at half price. Check us out online. You'll find us at chicagocarsdirect.com, where you'll see 60 pictures or possibly even more of this Z430 OSI. And then when you're done with that, check out our YouTube channel. You'll find us at youtube.com slash Chicago Cars Direct. Thanks for having some fun with us in this stunning 3 4 Stunning Z430 SI. Um, we'll see you next time.